A court hearing to appeal a woman's eviction took place this afternoon and the judge ruled in favor of the lot housing authority. The woman claimed that she was discriminated against because of her disability. Six News anchor Adriana Alexander was inside the courtroom earlier today and has more details tonight. Adriana. Adelia Martinez claims to have received 17 unjustified leasing violations while living in her apartment. According to the judge, her failing to complete her recertification is what led to this verdict. Lot Housing Authority Board Commissioners filed a lawsuit against their tenant, Adelia Martinez, for refusing to complete her annual recertification. She appealed that lawsuit and met the executive director, Deborah Goffney, in court. It's sad, but I don't want to live there anymore. That is constantly going to be harassed. The staff members, you know, it, 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 it's, it's not worth living there. Martinez lives with a number of disabilities. She told Falls County Judge Jay Elliott she wasn't able to complete her recertification because her father and overseer, Roy Martinez, was banned from being on Housing Authority property and she needed him to complete the paperwork. Goffney's legal representative, David Morrison, told Six News despite that, she had an ample amount of time to get the paperwork to Goffney. Our stance is really if you sign a document, and I have a lease as well, uh, you have to follow that document. And so just like everyone else, and me included, uh, if you violate that, then there are consequences. And so that consequence in this case is an eviction. And the 17 violations that Martinez said were unjustified put other tenants at risk. If Ms. Martinez had continued with the lease violations, it has the ability to impact every resident of the Law Housing Authority. Um, it could actually jeopardize the uh, low-income housing ability of that unit. After a 10-minute deliberation, Judge Elliott ruled in favor of the Lot Housing Authority. Despite Tuesday's verdict, Martinez hired another lawyer to seek justice. I'm just got to keep on fighting. I mean, yes, I lost, but this is not the end. I mean. She might won the victory, but this is not over. It, it's, it's not over. That's all I got to say. It's not over. I'm not done yet. Now, Martinez has to be out of her apartment by November 24th, but her fight is not ending here. Her other legal representation, Brandon Mason, filed another appeal in McLennan County Court to see where they can go from there. So we'll continue to follow this, guys. All right, you've been on this from day one. Thank you so much, Adriana.